<clears throat> Hi, today I'm making oatmeal bars. Um, since they're sold at Starbucks and they're really good, I thought I would share my recipe with you and um, just show off at how wonderful a cook I am and how intelligent I am for figuring out the recipe. <clears throat> So, first thing is lots of oats. Oatmeal raisin bars. 
you can make them without raisins. And you can make them without raisins. You can make them with chocolate. You could make them with whatever you want. But they are very good and they're healthy and they curb your appetite. You're trying to lose weight. So you want to make sure that all that's why I'm using this pot. Otherwise, you have to get in there with your hands. If you don't feel like it, you don't have to. So you go to the pot. I'm going to just coat my pan. There was already some oatmeal in there. This is going to be kept full with oatmeal bars. I think I went through that in a week. Giving it some to my kids. They are messy though, so get used to them while they're sitting at the table. Otherwise, you'll have it in your carpet, on your floor. So, done. I'm going to get into it with my hands. Get the flour mixed in. Make sure there's no flour on the bottom, and there it isn't, and we're good. <coughs> now it says 350, but my oven's kind of low power, so I'm going to put it at 400. It's preheated. I'm going to put my oatmeal in here, and uh, it tastes really good, and it's like a little cake, and this is like the exact same recipe for cookies, but I put extra some sticky stuff in, and it turns out to be a delicious bar. Half a bag of oats, half a cup of sugar, two cups of flour, two eggs, a cup of margarine, salt, pinch of, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of baking soda. You can put cinnamon if you want. And I'm pushing it down so it just all rises together at the same consistency. Otherwise, you're going to burn this. And um, I think that's about it. And this is what it looks like. Ready to go. And that oil the size of this pan too because if you burn this, it's no good. And that's it. Unless you want to watch you put everything away. You can do it quick time. This is our recycling. This is recycling. This is green. This goes up here. There. More oats for later. The cookbook. Another 15 minutes. Right now it's 12:30. So at 12:4 at 12:50, I will check this. But I will probably check it before then because burning this is ridiculously stupid, and I don't want to do that. I'm gonna make quinoa next. So I just said. <clears throat> for anybody that's in the gym or a mother or a, a mother that's just had babies that would like to have a great, this is a mega grain, the grain of all grains. The grains 
to write your parents write home to about. And it fills you up, and it's little cow, and it's something that digests inside of your stomach really well. So. So I buy it at the bulk barn. And I'm just going to put it together for you to see. Buy it at the bulk store. And uh, I'm not really sure if I could say that. So this video gets cut. Uh, it gets cut. So a few parts to one part, boil it up. Next. And that's it. And then you can add your flavoring and just keep it in the fridge. And when you're hungry, heat it up. Put some butter on it, put fruit on it. It's excellent. So see you later and thanks for watching.